Starting over is hard, especially when you had your mind set on something and it doesn't go the way you planned for it to go. But I try to remember that God really does do everything for a reason. He definitely has a way of turning our messes into masterpieces. So I'm excited to start this new journey. About a thousand times and I did that Yeah, I stayed a while Tried to make it right Cigarette No, I never smoked But my heart is broke Explosive Stressing for that old thing Back, back, back That initial love All the goosebumps Those feathers in my gut If this is your very first time here, my name is Maya. What's up, girl? So, <laughs> we are, first of all, it's been a second since I saw you guys this morning when we went um, to work out. Um, I did my run. It took me, what, almost 45 minutes, 46 minutes to do um, three miles. Burn almost 500 calories, so we're good. So, I am actually about to, where's my lip gloss? Amira got me wearing this wet and wild lip gloss we got from Target. So I'm about to put this on, but I'm about to set you guys up real quick um, so we can have a very, very, very short, very short. This is a little wet and wild um, lip gloss. Y'all also don't mind my nail and I'm not trying to flick y'all off, but I was scratching my head the other day. My nail just, the whole thing just popped off. Anyway, <laughs> I've been using this uh, Mega Slick lip gloss from Wet n Wild. We get it from Target. Amira's been wearing these and she convinced me to get me one too so we went crazy and got us a whole little stash <laughs> anyways you guys so i just wanted to have a quick little chat with you guys just to address the elephant in the room just a very very quick little spiel and if you're new here go ahead and catch up on my last two videos just to kind of know what's going on how i took my break and just kind of the things i was saying and addressing last video but anyway I just wanted to sit down with you guys to let you know verbally that I am in the process of getting a divorce. My ex and I are no longer together and that is why you do not see a ring. Divorce is not a amazing thing. What I wanted you guys to understand is number one, last week, I did not say it verbally because of timing. There are children involved. This is a family. This is a hard time. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be open and honest and transparent with you guys. You guys have been on this journey with me. You have watched me, prayed for me, rooted for me, and even said, you know, been against whatever is going on. So I wanted to be transparent without having to say it. So that's what you saw last week. But I tried to make it as obvious as possible for transparency. With that being said, I also just want to focus on myself. This is my platform. It always has been. It's always just been about me and how things affect me, the lessons I learned, what God takes me through. And that is something that is going to continue. So that's another reason why if you watched last week's video, it was very geared towards this is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm growing. This is how, you know, this is what I feel is happening for me in this season. I also wanted to say that showing my happiness and me feeling at peace and all of those things it's not a badge of honor to me what you were looking at and what i'll say is exactly what i said last week what you're looking at is me not being true to myself for a long time and then finally doing that that's the peace and the happiness that you're seeing not that i'm celebrating and he did this or he did that that was not that is not the case I'm not going deep into this at all. Because you guys know I've always moved with integrity. I do not drop names. I do not go too deep into things that don't need to be gone into. I try to protect myself, my daughter, my family. And for that reason, we will not be going into detail about what happened. Because this is, you know, this is a hard thing. There's currently no bad blood. This decision has been made. And I wish my ex all of the best. And I know that he wishes the same for me. So 
We have cleared the air that is out in the open. I just really wanted to have a transparent moment with you guys to really just put it out there. Like I said in the last video, I'm excited for this new chapter. Um, I am at peace. I'm happy right now. I am excited. And those of you who have been concerned about me, like, oh, we don't really know if she's really good. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, I'm good. And I believe that this is the best decision for both of us. And with you guys seeing that happiness, by no means am I saying that I am healed. Okay, I am not healed. And that's the reason why I'm dropping my platform, my new membership. And if you didn't hear about it, I, we do have a new YouTube membership on our channel. It is called Babes Reinvented. The reason that we are dropping this at this time is because I am not healed. And I am in the process of trying to become healed privately in therapy and with God. But I also wanted to create a public membership for women who are really serious about their journey of becoming better so that we can help each other and heal together. Something I've gone through or some of my viewpoints could help you. And something you've gone through and some of your viewpoints could help me. I am actively on it and have a and actively have my own personal issues. You know what I'm saying? That has contributed to this situation that I'm in. So I'm working through that and I'm owning that and I'm taking accountability for what I've done and what is wrong with me. Hangups that from, from things that I've been through that have acted as a barrier for me to get the things that I want in life. And I want to have that conversation with you guys as I try to pull myself up as well. By no means do I feel like, oh, it's been six weeks, we're not together anymore, and I'm happy and I'm healed. And no, that is not what's going on. Baby, please, no. That is not what's going on. Like I said, what you're looking at is happiness and peace from a lot of different aspects of just feeling freer. Also, I am very aware that there have been women um, in my comment section that love and care for me who have been through life and things that they've gone through and tried to lend some of that wisdom to me. And I just also wanted to say I'm very aware of that. I'm not going to address it right now for certain reasons, but just know, sis, that I, I get it. We're moving on. <laughs> Please allow me my personal space to go through this personal time in my life um, as we continue to go with the good vibes and the positive vibes and we're moving, we're moving forward. I love y'all. I love y'all so, so much. Uh, appreciate your support. Everyone who supported me in the comment section of that video. I love you. I thank you. Um, I know the girls that get it, get it. I didn't necessarily have to say this because they already knew what was up. I just wanted you guys to have a verbal acknowledgement from me of what is transpiring right now. So I am not in the business of tearing anyone down, of saying anything about anyone and talking about my business like that, or, you know, he did that, I did this, anything like that. It's not my vibe. And that is not the vibes that we want on this channel. We just came from having some negative vibes, me kind of not being myself, kind of not having, you know, the Maya Galore vibe that I feel like most of you guys signed up for. I'm not trying to prolong it. We trying to go back to to the vibes and the positivity and the the light-hearted, you know, positive content is where I'm trying to go. This this talk is already getting longer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> so I am just going to leave it there. I love you guys and let's move forward. All right, y'all. So now that we're done with that. <laughs> We are going to be running some errands today. I need to run some errands. Um, uh, I guess we'll get into that in a little bit because we we got to get up out of here. It's getting a little late. So, But I did want to show y'all I have on this um, Savage X Fenty set. Yeah, I have on this Savage set. I had these uh, leggings. I've had these for a very long time. Um, but I just recently purchased the... Um, the sports bra and then like the shorts that go with it. And I think it's super, super cute. The girls are girling, but that's fine. We're just chilling. Uh, I might go out in this later, but I probably will put like a jacket on because baby, we ain't trying to, trying to be out like that, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here, child. I'm about to throw this uh, jacket on because even though I like this, um, this body, I'm about to say body suit, what? Mm -hmm. This savage sports bra, it's very dangly. The girls are out and I keep having to like pull them up and move them so that we have, you know, it looks a little bit more presentable, but I still wanna wear the jacket over it. So anyways, I was gonna put on my, um, my Prada bag, but 
but it's silver and I feel like it's getting weird with the gold jewelry. So just gonna pop this on. I got to go ahead and grab my stuff out of my fanny pack from earlier. What's so crazy about this last year, y'all, is I also have been a super crazy procrastinator. I've always struggled with procrastination, <laughs> but it got even worse, y'all. I say that to say, why did I literally just like four weeks ago change my car over to Georgia? I know. It got my license for Georgia. Child, I'm telling you, y'all, it's been a crazy year. <laughs> my license plate will not come off. Like, they finally sent me my license plate and in the mail, but you know how your bolts get rusty? So I have a rusty bolt and it won't come off, y'all. I have used a drill, which I probably shouldn't have used on the car, but you know, it's fine. I've used a drill, I've used other things, oil trying to get it off and I can't do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to like a um, car place and we're gonna ask them to do it for us. <laughs> Hopefully they have some sympathy and wanna hook us up, okay? Because we need to be hooked up, we need to hook up. And then after that, I have a few more errands that I would like to run and then we also need to decide on a place to go so i got two hours i think i got enough time i should just go to audi honestly i should go to audi because i also want to get the front plate taken off because in missouri you're required why is that big in here i wanted to maybe go to audi because i feel like audi can remove the front plate too because in missouri you're required to have front and back but in georgia only the back and it look a little stupid having the front one but nothing's on it so Maybe we'll drive over to Audi and see if they can help us out. Worth a try. I might call them. Let me call them. I don't waste time going over there because no. Okay, I'm scrolling you guys into the uh, tripod. Let me just show it to you guys. This is the tripod I bought. I'll link it in my Amazon storefront in the description box. But it's super small. Like it'll be like this, which I absolutely love. It's really small. But then, look. Then you can extend it out like that and then even do this that way. When we're holding it out, you know, obviously we can hold it out like this for a bigger angle. And then, um, yeah, so let me show you what that looks like, y'all. This is what we look like extended and pulled away from the face. A bigger, better angle than like right here, which is what we're usually doing. Um, so yeah, it does use some arm extension, but it's fine. We've been working out. We got a little muscle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rita Case. Thanks for calling Rick Case. We'll do whatever it takes to earn your business, like treating every customer as we would our best friend, just like we have at Children with Bicycles for the Holidays. If they don't These answer this phone, stop playing with me. Be child in time for the holidays. I'm watching videos of uh, your Please when Diana Ross surprised Beyonce day. for her birthday. Y'all, when I saw that video and I saw how Beyonce you ran to Diana Ross, y'all, I teared up. Case, like more it made me cry. Our <laughs> just a bucket full of tears, y'all. What an amazing more surprise. I feel like I should just drive over there. Maybe I should ask somebody else. Who's trying to drive all the way over there? Thank you for calling Rick and Service Center. My name is Carmen. I'm Elsie. Hi, Carmen. I have a quick question. This might seem a little trivial, but um, I cannot get my license plate bolt out, and I didn't know if you guys could help me out with that so I don't ruin the car. I need to replace my license plate. Oof. Do you guys do that or not? I mean, what, what car do you have, an Audi? I have an Audi A3. Do you want to pass by the drive and see if they can go ahead and assist you really quick? Maybe they have, maybe they have a better tool to... Um, take their schools out or something they might be able but that's not considered kind of like a service or anything. no yeah i know that's mm -hmm. that's why i wanted to call it experts okay i might i might go ahead and mm -hmm. drive by um as long you know or that they might so oh, there it goes maybe maybe they could absolutely okay, okay. thank you thank you bye-bye okay. bye she likes this that was a dumb Side question no, 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 no. <laughs> no question is dumb it's okay I should just, it's a place around the corner. I'm gonna try them first and I'm gonna see what they say because, um, anyway, I got my, Drake, calm down. <laughs> I got some uh, pistachios for my snack because dinner is gonna be wherever Amir and I go tonight. Um, but I do be putting like a small amount of, or about a serving of pistachios in bags so that I can just grab and go. Um, and, 
y'all can see that. It got stuck to my lip gloss. <laughs> anyway, I do it so that I can just be prepared, grab something and go, and don't feel the need to like, you know, mess up. Preparing. Gotta have a plan just in order to, what's the word? I'm about to say you gotta have a plan in order to fail. Obviously, that's not it. If you don't wanna fail, have a plan. If I think of it, I'll put it on the screen because apparently my brain is broken right now. I also like to do them in the, um, in the shells because I also like to do them in the shells because I like the saltiness on the outside of the shell. So, all right, y'all. Let's go see if somebody can help us out. So I got that into the garage, but y'all, more than likely, that uh, package was something for the guest room. We are getting the guest room together because my mom will be here next week. I told y'all I'm going on a solo trip. So my mom will be here um, to wash the house and watch the baby and all the things. So I'm getting the guest room together um, for her. So. so we made it to a place y'all and I think the guy can help me. I pulled up just to a random like automotive place. And so he's a, uh... did this camera fall one more time? Okay, one more game. we're not even moving. Don't be so sensitive. Yeah, he's saying if he can help me out. But I got, um, he's back there y'all. Obviously can't show you the license plate. I got a specialty one, but I got this. But I do, I have right here. I have, um, I got this right here. It's from Amazon, I'll link it y'all. I think you got it off. Did you get it off? Yep. Oh, we're good. I'm happy. And I'm happy I had to drive all the way to Audi too, y'all. Maya, that's right, listen to your first mind. We're working on that. Listen to your gut. Y'all, I don't know what possessed me to wear this freaking jacket. I know what it was. I'm trying to cover up the titties, but sorry. The girl's gonna have to breathe today. I'm hot in the mug. It's supposed to be getting towards fall, but it's not getting. Whew. Oh, why you have makeup on? I just wiped off my face. So y'all, that guy gave me that service for free. For the free 99 and I am not complaining. However, <clears throat> he did break my um my little plastic thing that holds the license plate. So now there's only one screw in there. It's not gonna fall out. But now I gotta go and get a new license plate holder. So I gotta go I have to go to Audi anyway. So it's fine. We'll do that tomorrow or Friday. Uh, not today though, because we don't have time. So I am gonna go out here real quick and make sure though, I make sure that it's not I already, I already checked that it wasn't gonna fall out, but I wanna make sure as I drove over here to our or errands, AKA Target, that <laughs> it's not like hanging and falling off, so. Okay, so it's still straight, so I don't think we have a problem. I just low key wanna see what he's talking about and screw a couple of these in and make sure that it's not gonna work before I go to Audi tomorrow. Okay, so I see what he means. It ain't gonna work out, but you know, we're gonna see. I'm gonna go to Audi tomorrow and we will figure it out. So yeah, y'all, we're at Target. So I wanna see what kind of fall decor they have. Not that I'm gonna buy anything, but I just wanna look around because I'm gonna start seeing how I want to decorate for fall. We're about to go into Target. It's probably gonna be a little cold in Target. So I can put my jacket back on. It's also hurting my heart that I'm not about to go pick up some Starbucks to roam the halls of Target. But it's okay, Maya. We have goals and it's working out and it's fine. So, so I really, really wanna lose two more pounds before I go out of town next week, so. Let's get in here. I wanna take my water though, but I did buy it from Target, so. Drink up, and then we can go inside. Not Starbucks, not even having a line today, y'all. Tempting me, but it's okay. And just in case we find something, we're gonna go ahead and grab a cart. I was gonna grab one to deter myself, but. I think. I think we need one, just in case. We gotta walk all the way back, you know what I'm saying? To get a cart if we find something that is a necessity. Put it away, hey, hey. Oh, vanilla pumpkin. That seems, seems like it's gonna smell good, so let's see. Mm. At least one of them. I don't need multiple, I'm just gonna put one. I have all these like fall colored pillows, which is cute, but I don't need no more pillows right now. So we're gonna skip on the pillows. <laughs>
know if it's just me, but I feel like everybody else has been buying a whole bunch of stuff at Target, like for fall, but I couldn't think to find it. It's fine. Since I plan on going uh, shopping later on the week, that's probably why God didn't let me find anything today. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually kind of frustrating that I didn't find anything for fall, but it's okay. And on top of that, couldn't even have no Starbies. This whole weight loss thing is getting a little ghetto, if you ask me. All right, y'all, so we are about to get dressed for dinner. I told y'all it's a new restaurant Wednesday, so we're going to get dressed real quick. Um, I wanted to save you guys the back and forth of, I don't know what I'm going to wear. So this is what I think I decided on. I got this um, blue top from zara have not worn this yet i actually bought this with the striped um blue and white striped shirt that i had on last week I haven't been able to fit them i bought them not being able to fit them while we do that i don't know motivation whatever anyway <laughs> i think i'm thinking this and these shorts which are from aritzia so i'm thinking these two plus of course when i wear white white i gotta wear like a white bag this is a little off white but it'll work this little white bag from um Label. I think we wore this last week too. And then uh, these shoes, which I don't remember where I got these from. It is a UK brand though. Um, let's go ahead and do us a cute little get ready with me uh, while we wait for Amira to get home. Cute little montage, and then we'll see what we think about the outfit. Or am I just a fool so wrong for loving you, but you forgot that I'm a shooter thing? I'll take five shots. One for the day that I learned I Two for the bridges you burned I Three for the chances you had And four for the bridges you bagged And five for never being sad no. Alright y'all, so this is the whole outfit I don't know if you can see the whole vibe But this is what we are looking like. Um, I like it. I'm not crazy about the shorts. I don't know why. It might be because they're a little wrinkled. But I'm trying to figure out, do I want to handle that? Or do I want to just go with it? <laughs> okay, hopefully that's a better angle. I'm trying to get a good angle so y'all can see the whole thing. But um, yeah, the shorts are a little wrinkled. Besides that, I think I like the vibe. It's still summertime. So um, I'm, I think I'm cool with this. I might run over this with an iron, but... Besides that, I think, I think it's cute. It's giving bright, it's giving airy. It's giving date night with baby girl. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's decide on, do I wanna keep these hoops on? Um, I don't know, I might keep the hoops on. I did put a bra on though. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep on the hoops. I think I am gonna leave on the necklace that we have on though. So I like how it drapes over the shirt. But I told you guys about how I have that very annoying um, subscription with Shoe Dazzle that I still haven't gotten rid of. So I bought these on that site, <laughs> these earrings. So I feel like these would be cute for the occasion. I feel like I might leave on the rings that we have on. No need to change it. And I don't know, do you feel like the earrings are too much with the necklace? They're kind of giving gaudy. No? I mean, they're not horrible, but they're like, are we doing the most? Hold up, let me see if we're doing the most. Okay, in a better view lighting when I just looked in the bathroom, I think we're good. I think we're good, it's fine. Uh, no hoops, what else we got? I put a couple gold bangles on this arm and I think I'm gonna go in with this Carolina Ferrera um, fragrance tonight. Since we're going to dinner and kind of transitioning between like day and night, um, I thought it would be cute. So I really hope these shorts are cute. I just, I can't really decide, but I think we're just, I, like I said already, we're gonna leave it. Ryan, stop thinking about it, it's okay. All right, so these are the vibes and we're going to go downstairs and wait for baby girl. I might get a better angle downstairs too because I feel like my camera and this angle has been all jacked up. All right, y'all, so here's a better view. I think it grew on me. I did go ahead and tuck my shirt underneath for a true little prop moment. I might fold it back down but we'll see. Um, but yeah, these are the vibes. Hopefully it's cute. I'm trying to hurry up because Amira's walking up the street and I like to talk to her and give her my undivided attention when she gets in. But I'm also happy I put on a bra with this because the girls were not sitting the way I wanted them to sit. But I think this is cute. It was bothering me that these are like, this bag's a little more off-white um, up against the white shorts, but I feel like that's nitpicking. 
Am I gonna let it control me and ruin what I think is a cute outfit? The makeup is staying exactly how it is and we are gonna do the lip gloss again. Um, freshen up a little bit. I think I'm also about to go and slick some um, edge control on. So, and blend my hair a little bit more, child, because all day, even when I was filming earlier, it's just kind of been sticking out. So we need to just blend that in a little, <laughs> blend that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, these are the vibes. I still haven't even made a reservation. So let me get on it. So y'all, there's this restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for a while. It's called Ray's. It's not a restaurant that we have in St. Louis and I haven't seen it um, on the street and I wanted to go there. So I think that's what we just, well, I think. We just made a reservation there for 615. It is an hour drive from here. It's in Alpharetta. It's an hour, I'm sure, because of traffic, um, which tends to be a little crazy in the evenings, but um, we're pretty hungry. So we're gonna head there. Namira's excited. You excited, mommy? Yeah. Where are my keys? Can you see my, is my keys over there, mama? You got them? Guess what? I went up to the a car place up the street and they took the thing off and put my, my thing on. Oh, yeah. Why is it playing? No, I'm saying. And it was for free, oh. Um, However, oh. I think he broke my thing. Matter of fact, oh. I had an idea of something I could do. Ooh. I mean, we're about to go eat. But it's an hour. I mean, there's lots of food in there for you to just grab and eat in the car. Give me one. I can eat popcorn. Okay, I'm about to try to rig my um my license plate real quick, and then uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at dinner. <laughs> like the restaurant right mama mm -hmm. it was really nice really cute a lot more upscale than I was expecting I don't know why I thought it was gonna be more of a chill vibe but it was very I mean it was like it was giving first date mm -hmm. you know what you said <laughs> or anniversary type of vibe so it was nice I mean what do we rate it what do we rate it okay I can't get both of us on here keep lean this way fine. you lean <laughs> so beautiful 8.5 well I don't know I'm gonna 8. give it a 7. strong seven and a half oh Good morning, my loves. Happy um, Thursday. <laughs> I think it's Thursday. We about to make our first meal. It is 10.59, so we gotta eat, baby. Oh, I know y'all told me last video that, of course, my breakfast, I don't have to actually eat breakfast food, but that's what we finna do. <laughs> I love starting my day with my eggs and my turkey bacon, and a few of y'all was, a few of y'all was talking about my turkey bacon, so about it's thin, but you know, I am gonna go to Whole Foods. I'm going to check out the more thicker bacon and it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'll be liking this little paper thin bacon. It feels like it's healthy. <laughs> I felt like some color today, so I'm gonna show you guys the outfit here in a moment. I get these cute little, um, I don't know what the brand is, y'all, but I get them because of the color. They're like the environmental friendly sponges, but I get them because of the color, it's so cute. <laughs> But we are finally going to get our wax today. Y'all know last week I was desperately needing a wax and we are still in that space. So we're gonna go and see my girl Tahira because I am not where I need to be, baby. I'm gonna get me a full Brazilian and then my underarms. But as far as the outfit is concerned, I felt like some color today. I wanted to do um, this top. I actually was gonna give this top away and I pulled it out of my donation of that. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? We can fit this now. And it does, it's not giving too like vulgar. However, um, I didn't wanna wear it by itself. I feel like it's very much a vacation top. But since summer isn't over yet, <laughs> I figured I can go ahead and um, 
figured I can go ahead and wear it, but just wear like a top over it. So yeah, I just paired the top um, with this white button down just to leave it open. And then these flowy shorts. I wanted to do flowy shorts. Y'all know I got some um, black shorts that are also um, they're a little tighter. They're from Zara. These are from H&M. But I figured, you know, if we're going to do this top, that's kind of like a bra top. And it's got a little bit of cleavage, even though we have this over it. Kind of wanted to balance it out with shorts that weren't super, like, tight and hoochie. <laughs> I wanted to kind of get some balance since the shirt is giving, you know. But then kind of balance it out with the button down. And the, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. But I definitely love the color we're giving today. It's giving summer. It's not fall yet. Y'all know fall, fall is actually my favorite. Um, fall is my favorite season. So I'm very excited for fall clothes and fall vibes and colors and all that stuff. But I figured, you know, it ain't over yet. So enjoy a little bit of color. <laughs> I've been trying to do better about wearing some colors in the past couple weeks. So obviously we have, matter of fact, we had a little yesterday. Look at me. Who oh, is she? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I told y'all I like my eggs to be nice and uh, soft. Finish letting my thin bacon do its thing. No judgment. Where is my water? Oh, there it is. I like to let my um, bacon get crispy, so I'll let that go. But I also have on my white Hermes sandals. Probably just gonna do my Gucci bag, keep it casual. Um, while we go get our wax. Um, also, I'm changing this ca this calendar out. Obviously, um, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. So right now, just just ignore it. It's fun. And then another reason why I chose the outfit is because, you know, when we get our wax, you got to, you know, have all this off so your arms can be. And then the bottom, I figured, let me put on something that is easy where I can still have my girls covered. You know what I'm saying? And get my underarms and then also uh, be able to easily expose the bottom. So I always think about that when I'm going to get my wax because uh, I ain't trying to be laying there butt, butt naked. You know what I'm saying? So at least cover the girls. <laughs> and we may and may not. Matter of fact. My appointment's at 12. I got time to show y'all this. So, we got a bed. This is a bed right here. So I told you guys that my mom is going to be here um, next week. And so, I did not want to get... Um, I didn't want to use that gray um, bed that I already had. So, I actually got rid of the whole other set. And then, um, I had the junk people come and get it. And we got a new bed. So, this is what this is. So, I wanted to show it to y'all real quick. But I do not get out of here in like 20 minutes. But I did. what I was going to do is disassemble it, you know, down here and just take the pieces upstairs. Good job. You can do it, my guy. It's fine. It's okay. Let me just cut it here. Yeah, I really wanted to buy some new furniture because I really want it to look more like my style. Oh, I hope I didn't cut the... This is cute. Yes, this is super cute. So this is the headboard. This is the headboard. So it's neutral. It's a neutral headboard. Um, I still have my queen sized um, mattress and box spring. Saturday, we'll probably put this together because I did go ahead and go budget friendly. <laughs> we got the bed, the nightstands, a chair, and a desk from Wayfair. And they're all going to be coming in within the next uh, three or four days. So anyways... I'm about to set this stuff by the steps so that when I get home, all I gotta do is um, take it, take it upstairs. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. They got this construction stuff going on up here. Yeah, girl. I called you back so many times of the day when you call and I uh -huh. call you back, and the phone was like doing something weird. I didn't want you to think I didn't call you back. No, it's okay. I... My phone's been doing weird stuff okay. anyway. So okay. It could have been my phone. Okay. I was like, girl. I swear I called you back. Everything been okay? Yeah. <laughs> we gotta catch up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. All right, see you look cute. Thank you, girl. I tried to wear some color today, y'all. Oh, yeah, you know <laughs> hey, y'all. So we got our wax check, and now I totally forgot. I have a solo trip coming up next week, and I wanted to see if I can get some clothes. So 
we are at Primary Mall and we are about to go inside and go into Zara. I hate the Zara at Linux. I hate the Zara at Linux. It is just very messy. It's always very crowded. It's not a big store. I mean, it is a little extended, but this, the area where all the women's stuff is, to me, is just very crowded and just thrown around. I don't like it. So we are at Perimeter, um, and we're about to go in here and just see what they got. Um, it's almost time for me to eat again, so I'm going to eat a couple of these pistachios while I'm in the car. And then we're going to go inside, and we're going to see what they got for us. I already have a couple of things for my trip, but I just wanted to look around and see what I can find. Also, yesterday I was going to catch up with you guys after dinner with Amira to tell you what I thought about Ray's. I did start to talk to you guys, but we were having some technical difficulties with the camera in the car. The restaurant was really nice. It was a lot more upscale than I was expecting it to be. Um, it was just really, really nice. But the food, I would say, it was like a seven and a half. It was good, but it could have been a whole lot better if you ask me. So I'm sure we'll go back just to try a different dish or something, but it wasn't like amazing. I can't lie. It wasn't, the food wasn't amazing, but it was, it was cool. America felt the same way. She felt like her mac and cheese <laughs> was different. It wasn't what she expected. And I told her it's going to be, it's a nice place, Mira. It's seasoned. It's got a little different in it, but she enjoyed the atmosphere. I think we both did, but we couldn't enjoy it completely. And they told me to turn my camera off. And I ain't like that. I just feel like places like that, me telling me I can't use my camera, annoys me. <laughs> so, that I was not a fan of, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna eat like three more of these. And then we're gonna go inside. in the medium so I got it on but it won't zip up anymore back here so um, I'm gonna get another size in this because this is gorgeous so um, I'm gonna see if I can get a large hopefully they have a large in this one so y'all this is what we decided to get this blazer was really really cute and it's cropped so I got that and then I'm also getting these green pants because those are fire I love those but child I tried it with this little with this little situation right here um, this did not look that cute on me this dress was really cute but they don't have a bigger size I couldn't even fit this one it's a medium those two didn't look how I thought they were gonna look so I'll be trying y'all also the blue they did not have that one um, in a bigger size bummer because that was fire but yeah at least we got these and I saw a couple like accessories I want to grab as well all right y'all so I feel good about what I bought at Zara I'm happy I didn't go as crazy as I could have gone but I am about to go ahead and eat I'm about to go to this place 26 Thai have y'all watched me I've come here before it's really good yeah, I'm about to check this out so that we can uh, just sit down and eat real quick before we go hello just for one would you guys sit at the bar? Uh, okay. I'll take a table. First time for you? Uh, it's my second time. Oh, I've been okay. here before. Thanks for coming back though. Absolutely, thank you. Um, No, I'm not drinking today, um, just water. We just got it last week. So she was she. Strawberry lemon chocolate. Oh my God. I drink, I'm just trying to lose weight, so I'm trying not to. Y'all, they said they got uh, little, this, these little slushies that they just got here. Um trying to convince me y'all but i'm gonna stick to it yeah the reason that i'm trying not to drink right now y'all is because i know that it um something about how the body metabolizes alcohol not only when you're under the influence it makes you eat more which I don't, i'm not concerned about that but it says your body has to metabolize the alcohol first to know what to do with it before it can metabolize anything else you've eaten so i'm trying to just be smart about it that's the reason why i'm not drinking not that i don't have my wine you know i love me my wine but I'm just trying to be smart and make 
quick progress. You know what I'm saying? Last time, I don't even remember what I got, but it was definitely good. This Thai dumpling, shrimp and pork, garlic and ginger infused soy sauce. That looks really good. But dumpling is definitely a lot of carbs, so maybe not. So she said they have something called the Perimeter Garden. And that sounds good. It has tofu, but it has like mixed veggies and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that, but I want to try like a, um, a starter as well. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego? remember now why I wanted to give this yellow shirt away even though I felt cute today and I felt like it's summertime and it's you know color and stuff I have been trying my best to keep the girls under control and I don't like how much cleavage I've been showing today so I've kind of been holding my camera to my chest <laughs> so it kind of covers it up I don't like that I don't have um a lot of control and I don't like that I'm gonna show y'all yeah, I don't like that I don't have a lot of control and I feel like I keep having to adjust and it's just not giving the classy vibes that I've been trying to go for recently. <laughs> it just felt very misplaced for me. So yeah, we're definitely going to be giving this, this shirt away again. <laughs> but at least we got... Woo, woo, hot, hot! Who this leather in the sun? Jesus, help us. Anyway... Um, it's definitely not giving what I want to be giving and the vibe that I want to put out, you know, as myself these days. We enjoyed you color. You were cute today, but sis, you gotta go. Anyway, we are about to go and pick up baby girl from school. She had a little event after school, so she had a late, um, a late day. Usually she'd be getting out right now, but she doesn't get out till six. So, so let's go fight in this Atlanta traffic and pray we get home safely. <laughs> hey y'all so it's a little bit later on um i am in line picking up the baby girl so we're waiting for her to come to the car hopefully she'll see me here in a moment um usually when she has stuff after school she has me pick her up but um on tuesdays and thursdays y'all know she go to her daddy house so she'd be like make sure you grab my charger and a snack if we're gonna go straight <laughs> to my dad's so i almost forgot it and i got her uh, a couple of snacks and as well as a, um what else did i get to show her charger here she go right here okay one of her friends just screamed she's vlogging her friends know i'm a youtuber so it's like a thing come on girl where's she at where's she go now i know she saw me where's she go where is she oh there she go is she coming Bruh, didn't you see me? I was, but everybody was pushing me. Like, get out the way. I heard one of your friends scream, she's vlogging. Are you going straight to your daddy house? Or? Hey, mom, do you have my charger? I have your charger and I brought you snacks. Thank you. So, you want to go? Yeah. Did you have fun? Mm hmm So this guy, he was like, why, why does she have a camera? Because they was like, oh, that's my mom was about to go, right? And he was like, why does she have a camera car? And then he knew that was your, I was your mom? Yeah, because I just said, oh, that's my mom, I gotta go. She's a vlogging. She's a YouTuber. And then half of the people there knows now. Because what did everybody else say? I was like, oh my God, your mom's a YouTuber. Paparazzi. Like, Not the I paparazzi. Just, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I don't know. What did that boy, what did the guy say? That, he was like, oh, Oh, she's vlogging? She's vlogging? I'm so happy I got here before all this traffic. You see all these cars? Thank the Lord. Everybody, it was so fun. It oh was so gosh. fun. Yeah, you, you had a good time, baby? Yeah. That's wonderful, my love. I'm so happy you had fun. I'm so happy you had fun. Oh, it's not the sun in my face. So you gonna leave or what? Uh, uh, I don't know. Amira. I'm still out of breath. Amira, every, you always say that. We've literally been in the car for 15, okay, 10 minutes. You're not sweating no more. It's still there though. I love you. It's okay, please leave now. 
I love you. Thanks, y'all. You gonna take your homework? Should I just do it when I get home? Cause you like, know you cannot do it when you get home because when we get home, um, it's gonna be bedtime. Oh, so I'm gonna get you at I'm gonna get you at nine fifteen so you have a little bit more time at your dad's house. It's just late today. Well, if I'm showering in the morning. Okay. What is it that you have to do? I honestly don't know. I just know it's something from that. I love you very much. Bye. Bye. Samira's stepmother always gives me the biggest smile <laughs> when I drop her off. All right, y'all. Let's go to the crib. More than likely tonight, I'm going to spend some time editing and probably putting together the bed and the nightstands. Um, I want to get the mattresses upstairs, too. So y'all can watch me struggle with that. <laughs> Um, because I just told Amira that Saturday we're probably gonna sleep in a little bit and then I want to spend the day getting um, stuff from like home stores and stuff to really like spruce up the room so I got all my Beyonce merch <laughs> Amira and I spent like $400 on merch when we went to the Beyonce concert <laughs> don't feel bad about it not at all so, I'm about to move this um mattress upstairs so i'm so happy i just checked the wayfair site and it said that the bed actually only uh takes a mattress and not a box spring i have both but i'm happy now i only gotta get one thing up the steps so we're about to go ahead and pull this up um it wasn't too hard to pull i'm just pretty much pulling it but yeah manual labor okay manual labor but it's cool we got this the real struggle is getting it up these steps or at least like this first like level but i think it's okay it's a super high ceiling so oh Whew, child maya take your time sis take your time okay. oh. Oh. Whew. i should have never brought this down in the first place no it was worth it the boys really enjoy their room so i don't regret that oh, i just wish i wasn't doing this alone <laughs> I ain't never been no stranger to hard work, baby. We gonna get it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. Okay. Okay. Strategic. Be strategize. Strategize. Uh. All right. All right. Yeah, I did it. I lost a nail, another nail. 
and hurt myself, but it's it's done. It's fine. Ways of top of the year Lately we've been real unsure and clear Is it just me? Where do you go when you disappear? Tell me your secrets, you got my ear Room to assume is feeding my fears Hey y'all, good morning, happy Friday Um, we're chilling. I mean, this always annoys me Like, I'm always like, why chicken and broccoli thing and it makes it more interesting and I started making this off a of hello fresh meal y'all I'll be taking them hello fresh meals and I'll be I'll be making them on a regular basis because they be delicious so not sponsored but <laughs> um I'm just trying these off and then we are about to cut them up real quick but I did already like I said I already ate my first meal of the day y'all but I also just spent a bunch of time uh, rescheduling my solo trip next week because I'm now leaving a day earlier so I had to call the hotel and you know change the flight and change my mom's flight because my mom will be here for Amira so I just got done doing all of that and so I wanted to talk to you guys while I was doing this um, before I get to hustling and bustling because I got a whole to-do list today this week okay there's a I just realized y'all there's a um what button is this there's a break button on this <laughs> Also today, um, I have a landscaper coming for the backyard, y'all. We don't be in the backyard because it looks atrocious, okay? The previous owners were really big about just outdoors and the vibes and everything like that. And quite literally, I have done absolutely nothing out there. So I had a landscaper coming today to start cleaning up um, the backyard. And then next spring, I'll probably start, you know, planning and getting like my garden going have some things built back there but it needs to be cleaned up so I do have a landscaper coming today to handle that for me anyway y'all I just wanted to speak on something real cool real quick um I know I said at the beginning of the video that we're not going to be discussing this a whole lot which we are not however I did want to put it out there you guys that my marriage was fine want to say that longer than you guys would even think that it was obviously you guys know that we moved extremely fast though I truly believe that that is not always a recipe for disaster um, my sister got married in the exact same amount of time that I got married 10 months and she's celebrating 22 23 23 22 years of marriage so I say that to say to me that's not a recipe for disaster it absolutely is not however I do feel like, and we both probably could say this to be true, that the vetting during the dating stage was not top tier. It was not top tier for either one of us. I just wanted to put that out there because I didn't want you guys to feel like, you know, Amaya has always felt this way about marriage and wants to be married and all this stuff, and then she didn't even fight for it. I absolutely did, um, but at the end of the day, this decision that was made is the best decision. That needed to happen for us both and I'm probably just gonna leave it there I just wanted to mention that though to you guys because I know in marriage nobody's perfect myself included okay no one is perfect in this world there are no perfect people but this was not so much a situation of you know people not perfect now people don't want to work through the hard times it's not that <laughs> it was not that simple for either of us it wasn't just the giving up when times got hard type of situation so anyway now that we got that off our chest <laughs> i also wanted to say that y'all know that um i am still very much a person that believes in marriage wants to be married i actually prefer married life over single life like being a wife and just all of that it just turns out that this was just not the situation for me 
you know, in life we make, we make decisions and we go with what we think is best at the time, but it is also very much informed by who we are, our experiences. So I just wanted to pretty much put that out there. I know it's loud y'all. They are cutting my grass right now. And then there's also the landscapers aren't here yet. Just the people that cut my grass are here. So I'm really excited to like start getting like some furniture and stuff out there. Obviously it's not going to happen this season, but I am praying that it will happen next season so I can like really start sprucing it up out there but it has not gotten it has not gotten done touched much at all it was getting the grass cuts every two weeks but things were like overgrowing and things like that so it was just not a good situation so that's why I have not taken y'all back there anyway um for this salad y'all it's just cut up cucumbers tomatoes and green onions not green onions like the what are they called they are great onions, but I don't remember the name of them. I'll put it on screen if I remember. <laughs> but um, that's what we are putting in this salad. And then we're gonna put some Greek vinaigrette into the salad as well. And then salt and pepper, season with salt and pepper. So it's very quick and easy, simple, little veggie salad that I have been just adding to my more, you know, plain, um, combinations like my chicken and my broccoli or shrimp and you know stuff like that just to add some color and add some veggies and I already told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a full like weight loss video but I want to wait I want to lose a little bit more weight so that you know I can be a little bit more reputable <laughs> and it could be like a proven um a proven type of formula for you guys I need some more I feel like I might need some more to all right, so let's go again. I have washed some more veggies, but I'm not gonna eat more than this. So I don't wanna waste it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of this in baggies. The tomato. I'm sure, I'm sure my mom will probably eat this when she comes. Then a few of these cucumbers. That one, I'll go out. So yeah, I've been adding Greek vinaigrette to this. Greek vinaigrette. Uh, this is just the Ken Steakhouse Greek vinaigrette, simply vinaigrette. And then I just kind of put it in there, not too, too much. And then go in with salt and pepper as well. So just mix it up and like I said, just add it to the food that I have already been eating. So this is what the salad ends up looking like. It's actually extremely delicious, y'all. It is so good, I'm telling you. And I also wanna make this little sauce that I also got from HelloFresh that I've been putting on top of things as well. It actually was with this same meal that they taught me how to make this with. So I might make a little bit of that right now too. That way, I already got it made in the next few days. I don't really have to worry about, you know, making it. So I feel like this is done and I've just kind of been leaving it inside of the, um, oh wait, I didn't even do no pepper. I've just kind of been leaving it inside of the uh, refrigerator just like this and then I will get it out when I want it. God, Amira hates pickles and cucumbers and just until recently I hated cucumbers too until this was in a HelloFresh meal and I loved it and I was like, oh, I like cucumbers. <laughs> I do really good when I eat the same thing over and over, y'all. Like, that is my jam when I'm losing weight. Um, being at home when I'm eating, I love just the predictability of making sure I know what I'm eating and that I know is proven to work for me. That gives me more motivation as well. Let me just make this little sauce real quick. What can I put it in? I think I, think I have like a little bitty. What did I use that one? Okay, I did. I like this really cute small container. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So I didn't pretty much learn this one by heart because I do really love this little sauce. But I only use it like every few days because it is like sour cream and some other stuff. So I'm gonna take a bunch of sour cream. In fact, I don't need that much. I don't need to make that much. Sour cream and then I'm gonna take a lemon as well and squeeze that into it, lemon juice. We got lemon juice. We need garlic. I have some minced garlic. I don't need that much. A little bit of minced garlic. And then dill and salt and pepper. And that's about it. So I put as much dill in here as I want to. And then salt and pepper. And 
then water too if I want it to be, because it's supposed to be like kind of runny, kind of like a drizzling type of thing. Like this would be perfect for me. Like this will last me a week because I don't use it constantly or every day or with every meal. I mean, it's like one of those moderation things that I feel like is really delicious that um, I could just add to my meals that don't add a whole lot of calories and it just kind of makes it better, you know? Let me see. Yep, that's good. I'm gonna get a paper towel to just clean it off. And then I'm gonna pop this also inside of the fridge. All right, y'all, so today um, I have some uh, work to do. I'm gonna, first of all, I need to post on my platforms real quick. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think I'm gonna film a makeup look for Instagram. And then I want to film something for the membership since it is officially launching this week and I am so excited. My washing with a knife. So I need to film that today. I just have uh, some work to do and then I have some editing to do as well. So I also need to go upstairs and finish putting the bed together. I did put the nightstands together last night and y'all, them nightstands so cheap from Wayfair. They're cute, but the instructions messed up the drawer placement. So it looks, it just does not look that great, but it's fine. I think it's gonna be okay as a like um, a placeholder until I find some nightstands that I really want in there because they look really nice online. But baby, they're giving cheap, okay? They are giving cheap. The bed itself is cute, but them nightstands giving cheap. So I just wanna make it comfortable enough for my mother. <laughs> um, and then I'll finish making it, you know, what it needs to be later on down the line. Now. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna show it to y'all though. I'm gonna make sure I have some time with my mommy while she's here. She booked, she gonna be here, oh, she gonna be here a whole week, y'all. Whole week. Shout out to my mom, okay? Shout out to my mama for always coming through. <laughs> Alright, so real quick before I get going with my day, I'm gonna show y'all this um these nice hands I'm talking about that look absolutely crazy. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself for getting that uh mattress up the steps yesterday. <laughs> Ooh, your girl was struggling okay but we did it it's a little dark in here let me open up the blinds that's what i needed to buy dang it hmm think 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 Maya. think 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 y'all look at these little look at these little nice stands so the way they messed it up is they told you to put this little thing on here over here too low it should have been higher so that the drawer would hit up here now we got all this space it just does not look <laughs> it just does not look good but it's fine uh that's the headboard headboard is super cute um right now the curtains actually do mesh the room but y'all know i gotta get my white curtains so also another thing that's why we gotta go shopping tomorrow for some decor my baby isaiah <laughs> had made a saber tooth on the wall so the paint is kind of messed up so um instead of like you know sanding and getting all that stuff done right now i'm just gonna get probably like a mirror or something for both sides or you know we'll figure it out but we need some decor because i want this room to be very comfortable for my mom when she comes so we're definitely going to make sure we do some uh sprucing up in there tonight and to well we'll build it tonight and then do some sprucing up in there tomorrow and probably finish it up on next week's videos you guys can see the new guest room so i'm about to go ahead and get to my work i got a lot to do and i'm gonna check back in with y'all later
Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs> it's a little bit later on since I saw you guys this morning. Um, baby girl and I woke up, kind of um, slept in this morning. I got up, made up some breakfast in bed, we watched a movie, and it was just a very chill morning. I got a little sleep over last night. <laughs> so now we are about to um, get out the house and go get some decor for the guest room. I did get up and put the bed together. Well, Amira and I did it together. It was a group project. So we got the bed together. And now um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to spruce the room up for my mom. I was expecting a desk, but I'm actually leaving a day earlier now. So um, it won't get here in time for me to set it up for her. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go show y'all that in a second. I'm just pulling myself together so we can head to the store. More than likely, we're about to put a hat on. So let me take out my room and let's finish getting ready. Oh, do I want to do a wing? Am I ever just going to the store? You do not need a wing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to wear a hat because I don't feel like doing anything to my hair, touching my edges or anything. My little Adidas cap is all worn out, so I feel like this will go fine with this uh, Amazon set. Y'all know this is my favorite hat. I wear this constantly and I don't care. <laughs> the set we have on is from Amazon. Um, I will make sure I link it in the description box. Super cute, casual, chill to run around and find stuff. So pretty much what I want to find for the guest room, y'all, is a rug, um, possibly some bedding and pillows, um, a couple small lamps for the nightstands, and then any decorative pieces for the wall. That's what we're looking for because it looks kind of plain in there. We gotta really get it together. I am about to put on my C by Giorgio Armani fragrance on today. If you guys can see, I took off my um my nails. They were so short, I don't know why, they kept just like popping off. So I took them off. I'm gonna probably make an appointment at Sugar Coat Midtown to get my nails on on Monday because I really want to do something really cute for my solo trip, so. And usually Yvonne really does her thing, but this time I don't know why them nails was popping off like that. She did Amira's too, and hers was popping off like that too. So I don't know, child. I don't know what's going on. She's still my girl though. She does great work. I think it was the length of it, honestly, because I've never had that problem before. So. Okay, we got our hoops on. They're on a watch, and then um, probably a necklace, little or something, and some rings. Let me grab a necklace and some rings. I didn't do a whole bunch of rings because my nails not done, so I don't need no attention brought to my hands at all. <laughs> That's it. Let me show you guys what's going on in the guest room real quick. I need to charge, and then I need to charge my camera so that you guys can actually come with the shopping and help me decide, even though you can't really help me. It's, you know what I mean. So right now, this is what the guest room is looking like. Definitely want to change out the curtains. Y'all know I need my white curtains, but this is the bed. I think the bed is absolutely beautiful. I love the architecture of it and the design of the headboard. Love it. Y'all see these little, these little, little, they struggling, child, but they will do for now. <laughs> they will do. I may and may not, if I feel like it, bring that drawer up a little bit because I feel like it just looks kind of crazy, but I love the bed. I will be going to see if I get some new bedding and stuff. It definitely looks plain in here. It's not anchored because there's no rug. And what I was going to say is I bought a desk um, that I was going to put right here because my mom needs to do her work and stuff, but it's going to get here after I leave. So I went ahead and pulled the chair in here that was in my bedroom, um, you know, just for a little cute lounge moment. Yeah, we got some stuff to get in here because it's looking real, real plain, but we're going to get it together. And there was a light up there from the top bunk for the baby and I had to pull it off the wall. So we got to get some stuff to cover this stuff on the wall so I don't have to paint. So we have a lot to do. But we'll get it done. It's Saturday. We're chilling. Not really in a rush or anything. The weather's nice. I think the weather's nice. Y'all hope it don't rain. Anyway, I'm waiting for Amir to get out the shower and we're going to go. Hey, y'all. So we just made it to, um, I didn't like that. Yeah, what? We just made it to Home Goods. Um, I'm going to pull you guys out if and only if I find something. So you guys aren't just like sitting with me the whole time while we're shopping. And prayerfully, we find something good. So Home Goods is number one. First place we're gonna hit, then we'll probably get at home and target. Just see what we can find. So, good luck. Well, good luck to us. 
Alright y'all, so we're trying not to buy a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So all I got was like some um, quilts from my bed and then my mom's bed just to make it look clean. I'm going to use the comforter I already have. And we got some new pillows. I also found a, um, a candle that smells divine. So we got that. And then also this room spray as well. It's almost, it's actually not full, but it smells really, really good. So I'm going to get that. Hey y'all, so we are back from the store and it ended up being a bust. <laughs> I went to Target, Home Goods, and at home. Could not really find anything that I really wanted. And I've talked to y'all before about my house. I'm trying not to just buy stuff and then end up wasting money because I'm going to replace it. I feel like I've already done that with those nightstands in that room. And I just didn't feel like I should just buy stuff just to make it look nice right now when I know I'm going to replace it later. I do love the bed that I purchased, but besides that, like, I regret them nightstands. I really just want to toss them out. And I'm just like, I don't want to make any more decisions like that. So I saw a rug that I end up not getting. I saw a few lamps that I end up not getting. And I was just like, you know what? Maya, you do not have to do everything right now at once. My mom already texted me. She was like, it's okay if you cannot get the room done. <laughs> she could just sleep in my room. Um, and I mean, the room, you know, it has the bed and stuff in there. It's decent, but it just, it's not up to my standards of what I want it to look like for guests to come into my home. But Shardy told me that. She said, I know you got a lot going on right now. You're going through a lot and it's a lot going on. Don't try to force it if it doesn't work. And I just decided to give myself some grace and not do it <laughs> so clearly obviously now we have a sleeping situation in there which is good and we will beautify it eventually it's <laughs> very soon actually i had to get myself grace and just walk away so it's okay it's fine i'm, I'm not saying this to y'all i'm saying this to myself because i really wanted that room together and i totally got like in a whole mood today while i was out shopping because i just really wanted to do it but it's okay. I did buy this um, pumpkin waffles um, candle from Home Goods. It smells absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do, because it is almost like, it's like 540 or something like that. I have to edit this video to get this out for you guys tomorrow, but I'm sleepy, I'm in a mood, and I just wanna take a little nap. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get editing. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching this week's vlogging vlog, and I'ma see y'all. 